Hi, it's Gavin again from Lucid Computer Solutions. Hope you're well. So in the latest of our little Windows uh, 11 mini series, I just thought I'd give an update uh, quickly around two things. Uh, the most common question we're getting is when can you expect to get Windows 11? So I'm just going to reiterate that. I do think I touched on it in one of the previous videos, to be honest, but I just because it, lots of people are asking about that, I just want to quickly run through that again. And then I also want to go through uh, the first real problem we've had with Windows 11, uh, which we've not yet been able to resolve. And I'm wondering if the community out there might even be able to help us with it. So first of all, when can you expect to get Windows 11? Now, there's no set timeline here. So Windows 11 is available, um, but when you are offered it on your computer will vary. It will vary based on the age of your computer as far as we can tell. So the newer the computer, the more uh, the more quickly you will be offered the Windows 11 upgrade through Windows updates. So if you've got a bought a computer in the last six months, for example, it should be available to you quite soon, if not already. And when I say quite soon, you'll be asking, well, how long is quite soon? Again, there is no set timeline, but realistically, I would expect it to be offered over the next few months. And then what will happen is you'll see it filter down to the computers which are like, you know, a year or two old, and then so on and so forth. But important note, and I did do a full video about this, your computer must meet the requirements for Windows 11, as in it has to have a compatible processor, the right amount of memory, um, and all the rest of it for you to be offered the upgrade. If your computer doesn't meet them requirements, then you won't be able to get the upgrade. There will be ways around, um, which we'll end up doing a full video about, but just using the normal Windows update mechanism, um, you won't be able to actually get it if your computer doesn't meet the requirements. So, yep, in summary, age of your computer is the kind of controlling factor in how quickly you'll be offered the Windows 11 upgrade. So um, back to where we're at with Windows 11 in general. So we have rolled it out for a very small amount of customers. Um, some, because of their requirements, are sticking on Windows 10 for now. And don't forget, Windows 10 isn't going anywhere. It's fully supported for like another four years or so. Um, but we've rolled it out, Windows 11 out for a number of customers. And this is, has been a little bit trial and error. So overall, it's been very successful, well received by the customers. They've been able to adapt to using Windows 11 without any major problems. The one problem that we have had, and the clue is in the title of this video, I'm sure, is we rolled out Windows 11 just for a single user for them to test Windows 11 within their business. So if it was successful, we could roll it out to the rest of the people in the business. But they use a Rico copier, you know, one of these super big, large photocopier units, which, you know, does your printing and your copying and your scanning. And they use the scan to folder functionality. Um, and they want to be able to scan directly to a folder on their computer, something which works seamlessly on Windows 10. It works throughout the rest of their business, no problem at all. Um, they were the first Windows 11 computer and we could not and still cannot get the scan to folder facility working with the Rico copier and a Windows 11 computer. And for those of you interested on the tech side, I will touch on it briefly. We've tried all the usual things, making sure the network is set to private, making sure uh, file, and file, file sharing is on, making sure we've set the correct permissions on the folder share itself, double checked we're entering the right username and password to access the share, and when we do that between computers, we test the access to the share from another computer, it works fine. But the Rico copier will not place the actual scanned file onto the computer. It just never appears. What we ended up doing was with that particular person, because they really do need the scan to um, folder functionality, we rolled them back to Windows 10 and we set up the copier using exactly the same settings and we set up the share using exactly the same settings and it worked first time. So clearly there's something within Windows 11 and it's the compatibility with this particular Rico copier, which I'm sure is a factor. 
The Rico copier, we have no direct control over. The customer leases it from a leasing company. So other than us being able to set up, you know, like a scan to folder path, we can't be doing things like upgrading firmware and massively messing around with it. It's, it's not our place. It's not our responsibility. All we can do is give feedback to the customer to say, can you speak to the people you lease the copy of from and see if, for example, there's a firmware upgrade which allows Windows 11 to work, or perhaps they've come across this problem already and they know what the resolution is. But yeah, we spend a decent amount of time in this. A couple of different techies here tried for a number of hours to get this working. And in the end, because we're, you have to bear in mind with us, we can't just keep exploring and keep exploring the problem. We have to get the customer working as well. So it gets to a point where the customer was very patient for a long time, but any any person's going to run out of patience eventually. They just need to get on with their work. So yeah, we made the call to roll them back to Windows 10 and that works fine. So if anybody out there has come across this Rico copier issue with scanning to folder onto a Windows 11 computer, will you please, please let me know if you were able to solve this. Do you know what, even if you've got the problem and it's unsolved, will you let me know? Because that way, I know it's not just us. Um, so please do comment and let me know how you're getting on with scan to folder with Rico copiers and Windows 11. Either way, perhaps you'll give me a clue. Perhaps you'll back up my own thoughts. Um, this is all about the community helping out here. Let's all work on this together and see where we can take it. So I'd love to hear from you. So please do use the comments below. And one thing which is, oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, and one thing that's guaranteed to get you Windows 11 quickly is smashing the like button on the video. So smash the like button and you'll get Windows 11 really quick. I am of course joking, but if you could, if you could um, press the like button for me on this video, please do so. It really helps grow our channel. It really helps spread the word about us and um, I would really appreciate it. As ever, all the links are down below to connect in with me on LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram. So if you want to chat to me over on one of them channels instead, please feel free to do so. And as ever, please do subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, we try to release new content every week. So please, um, please do smash the subscribe and the like button. I would really appreciate it. Right, I will wrap this one up for today. Uh, so I've been Gavin from Lucid Computer Solutions. Um, I'll see you on the next video.